Hi everyone, this is Brendan here. So today I'll be talking about good farming timings where I'll be talking about different time slots that are really good for farming and I'll be explaining to you guys how do I derive from all these uh, timings and also during that good timings it's better to boost your barracks so that you can do more raids and farm more resources. So um, let's take a look at my attack log to see what I'm trying to say. So if we look at the time uh, now, currently in Singapore it's at 5pm on uh, Sunday. So whatever timing that I'm going to uh, say to you guys is all in Singapore timing, which is a uh, GMT plus 8. I'll put a link in the description below to um, show you guys the time zone uh, conversion to whatever time zone that you guys are in. So don't worry about that. So if you take a look at the first attack, um, it was done like 37 minutes ago, which was like around 4.30 in the afternoon. But if we scroll the way down, um, I wasn't able to find uh, much loot as like you see um, this timing interval. It's like interval roughly around 20 minutes before I found a raid and I was actually searching for a raid because I was only able to snipe town halls. So after that, when the, the loot became better, uh, the time um, was in that particular golden uh, hour timing. So let's take a look at my first attack while I talk you guys through of how I actually derive from all the timing values. So if we start from the morning where I start to clash, which is, which is around uh, 9 a.m. in the morning, uh, 9 to roughly 10 a.m. it will be good. Uh, be able to find a lot of inactive bases, this and that. Um, I think it's because um, that's during the breakfast uh, hour for most people and most people won't be playing Clash, they'll probably be eating their breakfast and as compared to other countries, maybe they are eating a dinner or whatsoever. So uh, there are other factors to consider as to why the loot is good at this particular timing. So after that, if we continue to like around 12.30pm to 1.30pm during lunchtime, the loot will also get better. So whatever timings that I'm not mentioning, uh, basically they are uh, not uh, good to farm at. Not good, but doesn't mean that it is not uh, advised to farm during that timing. I mean, if you can farm like 12 hours a day and continue to raid through the whole time, of course it will be better and it will yield you uh, more resources as compared to those people just uh, focusing on those golden hours that I'm trying to mention. So uh, let's carry on with it. Um, the, the next uh, time slot that I'm actually uh, looking at is at 3.30 to 4.30. So um, if you look at my attack log just now, uh, 2 hours and 30 minutes ago, which is around uh, 2.30, which is a rather bad time slot to actually go for loot. And then after that, around 3.30, it picked up a bit all the way to 4.30, whereby I found all those uh, high resource bases, which now I'm showing you the replay. So then after that, later in the afternoon, around 5.30 to 7.30, it will get better again. So... Um, these are basically uh, time slots that I've uh, noted down and then after that from 7.30 p.m. all the way to like 12 a.m. Basically, it will get uh, really really bad for that 5 hours. A lot of people are basically uh, playing and also clashing and also searching for bases. So you won't be able to find a high and uh, inactive bases, high loot and inactive bases that easily. But definitely you'll still be able to find it but um, not as quick as uh, during those golden hours. So then uh, if you guys are still awake during uh, that hours which is around 4 30 to 5 30 it's also a really nice uh, farming uh, time as i farmed during the hour before um during the weekends and it has given me a really good uh, loot so what what i mean by really good and really bad loot is that in uh, roughly one hour during the bad loot timing i maybe get around a 1.2 million gold to like around 1.6 million gold um, that was last time when i was farming uh, really really hardcore for my this main account so as compared to the really good timing, sometimes in an hour I could farm like say uh, 2.2 million or even the 2.6 million gold. That's considering of course I boost my barracks and also boost my spell factory. So that's the amount that I'm actually getting. So on average I get around 2 hours, uh, 2 million per hour sorry. So um, sometimes I even, uh, there was one time that I uh, did it during a uh, the times the good time slot of 5 30 to 7 pm so i got like around um, 2.8 million gold during that moment it was a rather high um, um loot during that period and that's not my record i've uh, gotten more than that so um, that's how basically how to get more loot um, farming at those uh, sp particular timing i know you guys will be saying that you guys are unable to play during that timing because you guys are, have school you guys have dinner or whatsoever with your family etc this and that but uh, yeah i'm just trying to mention to you guys that basically there are good farming timings and bad farming timings of course um, those uh, good farming timings also uh, happen with you guys not playing during that moment and of course other people will be experiencing seeing good loot during that period 
So uh, just uh, something for you guys to note for and also to uh, learn. So um, just want to mention again that the timings that I've uh, talked about is all in Singapore timing, GMT plus 8. I will definitely put a link in the description below to link you guys up to show you guys the list of time zone to convert to your own time zone. And then eventually, eventually you guys can calculate out to your own timing. So uh, that's it for this particular tutorial. I will be summarizing my whole entire BAM guide in the next video. So with that said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching my video and clash on.